everyone, Emily here. I just got home from the biggest and best op shop score haul of 2020. So stay tuned. So let me start with that I have not been to this op shop in quite a long time. It is in Brisbane, it's in South Brisbane. It's one of the bigger ones. I'd say it's a superstore. And uh, I traveled there uh, because I hadn't been there in so long. They used to have a ton of VHS, like tons of it. So I went there thinking, okay, maybe they've still got some of those VHS for 10 or 20 cents a piece. Unfortunately, they didn't, um, but they had so, so much more. Now, as you can see from the video, uh, there were racks and racks of DVDs for a dollar. And in amongst those DVDs for a dollar, they had video games staggered around in there too. Now, some of the games um, over the years have been anywhere between a dollar and five dollars, like pretty like most op shops now. Um, unfortunately, the prices seem to go a lot higher these days uh, for even PC games that aren't worth it. But you guys have seen that from all of my game hunt videos. So if you want to check any more of those out, definitely hit the card above. But today, I was really, really lucky. I ended up just heading there. Everything was a dollar. Um, they let me know that I could get the other things uh, that weren't marked at any special price uh, for a dollar also. I just, I can't believe it. Um, I don't know where to start. Um, a lot of it is not on film. Some of it will be. Uh, it's just because one, my camera died and two, they were blasting music. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to record and talk at the same time. Uh, but I have tons and tons of stuff to go through and this big pile. So let's get through some of these really cool blast from the past movies. And then we're gonna take a look at the $1 video games I picked up. Like, I still can't believe it. All right, I'm still overwhelmed with everything in here. Um, I'm hoping you guys like this format of the video. I'm gonna go through it as quickly as possible and uh, show you guys some movies you probably haven't thought of in such a long time. I did pick up quite a few that I haven't seen as well. As you guys know, um, if it's something, especially 80s or 90s, a movie that I haven't seen and it's not um, on a streaming service, I pick them up. I also recommend that you guys do uh, if you've got the space to collect some movies because they're not always on streaming services. So that's a hot tip for you. One um, of them was Treasure Island. Who can resist the Dark Crystal? I picked up The Wrestler, Indian in the Cupboard. Now I do have this on VHS. I think I may have a copy on DVD, which is quite scratched. I find that a lot of these kids movies end up being quite scratched, but this is an absolute classic. Ghost World, one of the earliest Scarlett Johansson movies. The Simpsons, Around the World in 80 Doe. <laughs> Doe, Doe, Doe! Uh, this one I wanted to pick up because I love some of the older Simpsons stuff and as it turns out I ended up being able to pick up a few more. So there was Viva Los Simpsons, Springfield Murder Mysteries and I think there's another one here somewhere. The Simpsons Against the World. This one's really cool. I'm gonna give this to my mum. Uh, it is a Jimi Hendrix Band of Gypsies. Now who doesn't remember this absolute classic 90s movie, The Long Kiss Goodnight? This was one of my favorite, favorite movies. I love watching Gina Davis kick butt. Slither, the big hit, another absolute classic. Whenever I find these DVDs, I pick them up and there is one absolute classic in this list. I don't know where it is in these bags, but I can't wait to show you that. Um, but here is a WWE one. This one's the history of WWE Hardcore Championship 24-7, I think. So I'm really looking forward to watching this one. A heavy metal band that I grew up listening to as a teen, El Nino. I don't know if anyone else has heard their music before, but I definitely recommend checking them out. This is one of my favorite 90s movies. Uh, absolutely love Robin Williams, and I was not going to say no to this deluxe edition with this super cool cardboard case. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, again, everything here has been a dollar that I've rattled off. I just, I still can't believe it. Uh, there's a Halo animated. Um, I've never seen this before. Um, Halo The Fall of Reach. Steve-o, don't try this at home. Now we're getting into the big bag. 
other people's money, Danny DeVito. This is another Australian movie and I have been trying really, really hard to track this down. It's called The Heartbreak Kid. Multiplicity, who doesn't love this absolute classic? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I love this movie when I was growing up and uh, still do. Super cool, love this movie. Do you guys like it too? Napoleon, another kids movie. Spider-Man animated, Osmosis Jones. I'm slowly ticking off the list. I think there's 12 or 13 volumes in this series. And uh, every time I go to different op shops, these have been really hard to, to actually find at op shops. I didn't go and buy them when they first came out. Um, I'd love to say that I still had my original clamshell VHS set. I don't, I lent them to my cousin as a kid and I never got them back. And where is the shredder now? I'll never talk. You'd better, or else I'm gonna get sarcastic. Uh, but uh, slowly ticking these off. So I think I'm missing about five now. Um, odd numbers amongst them all. So hopefully I pick them up soon. The Born Identity. This is a movie I forgot about. Uh, I think this is late 90s, um, but copycat. Definitely very, very good movie. You might have remembered that I was talking about the WWE before. Uh, this is when wrestling was at its peak for me. I absolutely loved uh, Degeneration X. Shriek, it looks like a horror movie. I haven't seen it. Jennifer's Body on Cut, the pirate movie. Still another stack. That thing that you do. Now, uh, I believe this was actually Tom Hanks's uh, first movie from the studio that he owns. And I think it was the first time he directed a movie. So um, yeah, he wrote and directed this movie, but I think it was his first time. This is actually a really good movie. I, I didn't like it years ago when I first watched it and I just re-watched it again the other day and uh, yeah, I really, really liked it. I watched it on VHS, but now we've got a uh, DVD copy of it. Young Guns 2, I uh, grew up watching the Young Guns movies and I know they're not the best or greatest uh, Westerns, but I definitely love Emilio Estevez, so I'm very happy I picked up that. Bulletproof Monk, Mortal Kombat. Uh, awesome. Uh, I think I already have this on DVD, but I have the original rating version. Uh, so I've got this and I tend to collect a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff. So again, that one's going in the collection. Moonstruck, The Ramen Girl. I actually like this movie, Brittany Murphy. Watch it everyone. Goofy movie. Now I'm at the last pile of the DVDs and then we're going to go through the dollar games. Uh, so here are some really cool ones. Uh, Up in Smoke Tour. Here's a movie that's very, very hard to find here in Australia. Um, this is Mimic Remastered. I can't actually remember what year this was released. Um, it may have been very late 90s. Um, sorry, it was 1997, I think, reading the back of that. Uh, and I like this movie. It's been a long time since I watched this, so uh, I haven't seen it before at any other stores. Um, I think it's out of print, so uh, finding this, it's got a bit of a ripped case and stuff, but for a dollar, um, for a hard to find movie, I'm more than happy to pay a dollar for it. Python, Casper Van Dien, totally forgot about this movie. Uh, there was a time where obviously, I think this may have came out in uh, to go against Anaconda and Anacondas. Don't quote me on that, but I think it might have. Um, again, this is like the 99 to two, year 2000, uh, and this type of movie was probably really big back then, and I loved this movie. Um, so yeah, I, again, I, this is so weird, finding all this stuff. The Man in the Iron Mask, again, uh, one of, um, Leonardo DiCaprio's best work. Without a Paddle comedy, this again is so funny. I forgot about this movie when I picked this up. I was like, holy crap, this is so funny. How could I have found that? I for totally forgot about that movie. The Secret Garden, um, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. It's the Grim Reaper, dude. How's it hanging, Death? Again, dollar. Now, Three absolute classics. You have to let me know if you watch these when you were a kid. I grew up watching a lot of these movies. There was uh, Jungle to Jungle, Tim Allen. Really, really funny. I haven't watched this in so many years. I'm really looking forward to watch, sitting down and watching that again. This movie, I haven't watched since I was a kid. I've only ever watched it once. So Getting Even With Dad, uh, it has Macaulay Culkin in it and um, uh, Ted Danson, so, so good. Can't wait to watch that one. And very hard to find over here is Short Circuit 2. I 
as soon as I actually seen the color of this, um, unfortunately I didn't capture that on film, but I did make a big like <gasps> noise. Uh, so <laughs> I was really excited to be able to find this one. Very, very excited. So that's all the movies. Um, overwhelming amount. Uh, you guys will see my dedicated space for movies, DVDs, um, that type of media like Blu-ray, DVD, VHS, uh, beta. I've been working on that space. It's not obviously in here, um, but it will be part of the room tour. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that video. It's going to be going live in, uh, I think, about a week to two weeks from this video. But now we're going to go through all of these games and it's absolutely shocking what I was able to pick up for a dollar a piece. three piles to go through and I thought I would probably go through the newer stuff first and then through to uh, some of the older stuff and the cooler stuff uh, that I was able to pick up uh, so again dollar a piece uh, total spend was like um, between 85 and 89 dollars uh, so 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 lucky so I picked up heavenly sword on the ps3 the disc and manual are in excellent condition. The case is a little bit scuffed from obviously um, shelf wear. But this game is one that obviously really, really has intrigued me. I don't have this game. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful from what I can tell and the character design looks really great. Uh, so I am looking forward to playing this game on the PS3. I'd love to hear if you've played it and uh, if you recommend it to others. So I'm definitely gonna be playing that one very soon. I love the look of the character. Minecraft, the Xbox 360 edition. Halo 4, Knockout Party, another Wii game, another four person fun game to play with all the family. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. Now, oddly enough, this game's actually uh, worth around $20 uh, here in Australia. Uh, it's not one that I will probably keep and play 
because I, I've sort of stopped doing the shelf filler stuff if I'm not going to be playing it. So I'll probably use this for trade value for something at a retro store for something else that I would like to bring the cost down on. Um, so that's one of the collecting tips that I'd like to go over for this year for you guys. So um, I'll definitely do that video very soon. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the disc is mint and this one comes with the manual. My original copy doesn't, uh, so yeah, it's very, very good. Uh, sorry, it comes with the map and manual, but yeah, I didn't have the map. Tekken Tag. Now, uh, I did get this one on film, uh, so as I was going through each of the shelves, uh, I would gradually just end up finding a different game here and there. Now, I went through those shelves four or five times, no lie, and I was still finding games popping up left, right, and center. Uh, so Tekken Tag Tournament is one that I haven't played before. I'm not a huge Tekken person, but my husband is. Uh, so he collects for Tekken, I collect for Mortal Kombat. So yeah, when I showed him that, he was really, really happy that I ended up picking that up, especially for a dollar. Don't worry, there's more PS2 games. I was so shocked that they have retro games there, especially for paying a dollar each. So, 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 so lucky. Gran Turismo 4, Tourist Trophy, this is a bike game, uh, looks really good, so I'm looking forward to playing that. V8 Supercars 2 Australia, Gran Turismo 3, Gran Turismo Concept, I have two more PS2 games I'm going to show you guys, uh, but I'm going to go through some of the PC stuff and then you will understand why I've shown you those PS2 games last. Picked up this Cedesco game, um, Tesla, Tesla Grad, uh, it looks like a little platformer platformer puzzle. Worms Blast on the PC and what is really cool about this one, it was limited edition, PC version, and it actually comes with a copy of Worms Pinball on PC. So uh, I got two games in this one for a dollar uh, and yeah it's really really cool. I love the Worms games, you have to let me know if you guys enjoy them too. Worms Party, Babies, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Now. I know, I've said before and I'll say it again, I'm not a huge Sims player, but this one absolutely sold me. It's the Sims 3 70s, 80s and 90s stuff. I had no idea this was a thing. I will definitely be checking this out. Uh, it's obviously going to have arcade machines, um, boom boxes, um, it looks like it's going to have aerobics and video games and stuff like that in it. Uh, so. I know I'm not a Sims person, but maybe this is the game that will get me into playing The Sims. Uh, so yeah, 70s, 80s, and 90s stuff. How cool does that look? The Need for Speed. Now, we are up to the three absolute crackers of this whole entire thing. Uh, I did send a photo uh, to the hubby, just of one section of that op shop and uh, he zoomed in and he was telling me things to look for. Now, uh, I did go to this store on my own. Uh, that makes it somewhat difficult because obviously when you do go on your own, you need a second set of eyes sometimes. Both of us look for different things when we go op shopping together and uh, I do miss stuff. I don't know why, but I do. Uh, so I'd already gone through the shelf and then he went back through those, the picture and told me this middle of this and then so forth to go and obviously get pick this stuff up and one of which is a sealed copy of nuclear strike Now I do believe that Nuclear Strike had a release on the PS1 and when he messaged me and said do not miss that, like grab that game, I didn't even realise at the time until I uh, picked it out of the, on the, off the shelf that it was sealed, brand new sealed and originally it was sold for, I can't see what the original price was, I'd like to say it was like $5 or $8 but it was discounted at Kmart which is a chain store over here um, for 50 cents. Uh, so that is definitely one of the standout uh, pickups from this whole lot. 
and uh, made it all worthwhile the time to drive there and the hours spent going through all of the shelves. So definitely one of the best items there. Now lastly, uh, on that shelf when I sent the photo, I had picked them out already because I did spot them. Um, I do find it quite easy to spot this spine. Um, even when I'm in Japan, I spot it quite a lot. Now I do have the Japanese copies of these games. They can be played uh, even if you don't speak a lot of Japanese, but you have to have a Japanese system, of course. Uh, and I collect the box variants with the guns. But I picked up Time Crisis 2 on the PS2. This is absolutely in pristine condition. Fantastic find. Uh, it's probably worth, you know, $40. Um, maybe even $50 in this type of condition. I picked it up for a dollar. It's really good um, if you wanted, if I wanted to flip it or something like that. Uh, there's really great value in this to obviously add more value to the collection, but I like to keep those dollar games. Um, it's what I built my collection on is buying cheap games. And I'm so glad I'm having a little bit of luck lately to show you that obviously this stuff can still be found. It just takes time and you know, it might be seven out of 10 times I go out, I don't find anything, but it might be like every third time or, or, or three out of 10 times I might find something really neat. And this time happened to be that time. So yeah, Time Crisis 2 and then Time Crisis 3. Time Crisis 3. Now, uh, this is the not uh, for sale, not to be sold separately version. Uh, so this would have been sold with the gun con. They didn't have any PS2s there. They didn't have any guns, uh, gun cons there. I did look around. I didn't ask, um, but I did actually go through a lot of stuff at the back of the store um, where they have a lot of the electronics and I couldn't find anything, unfortunately. Uh, but this one's actually going for quite a lot uh, on eBay. So. Um, again, it's something that you could add to collection if you're lucky enough to find stuff like that or keep it or use it for trade value, uh, which I may or may not do. Uh, I do have the Japanese versions in the boxed uh, variants. Uh, so yeah, but having the PAL versions is obviously really, really super cool too. But yeah, they're my, they're my three knockout standouts and obviously picking up a lot of classic 80s, 90s and early 2000s movies uh, that are just classic comedies or kids movies that I grew up on, especially stuff like Short Circuit and Getting Even With Dad, Jungle for Jungle. Just some really, really cool stuff at this op shop. Uh, doesn't happen often um, to find stuff like this, but you know, luckily enough, uh, it's safe to go out where I live here in Australia. Um, there's no restrictions in that regard. And um, yeah, I was able to go and find all this really, really neat stuff. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what you would like to see in the next Game Hunt video. I will have a Collecting Tips 2020 coming to you very soon. I still have How to Repair Game Discs and DVDs video. It is coming. And uh, of course, hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That Games Room Tour for 2020 is coming very, very soon. But until next time, I'll talk to you later.